Right, well, guys. Uh, so uh, we already made this animation um, of a specific part. This is uh, just my personal preference. You know, just uh, uh, let me just put my head into uh, the left side. Okay. So uh, as we can see, we already made this hair like waving. And remember, we make six frame for it. Um, and that's uh, just my personal uh, preference. I prefer to use six frame as a loop. Uh, for my projects, so um, so for example, the hair wave up and going down. So essentially, three frame going up, three frame going down. Uh, if you want, you know, add a little bit of variation. So you might like two frame going up and two frame, just to show a little bit of variation, and two frame going down. Okay. So uh, if you look at here, uh, you got the first frame here going up going up going down going down going down yeah that's basically how the animation works of course we can add more detail okay so uh, this time i'm going to change a little bit okay so basically uh, uh if you look at here we make basically three different um like a frame okay so the like the original position going up a little bit going up a little bit, going down, and return to original position. So one, two, three, four, five. But this should be a six. So this should be a variation. So it's like two, two, and two. That's, that's all. So what I'm going to do is to add a variation as well. So what I'm going to do is to just uh, you know, clear this out just for you know, previous um, animation demonstration purpose. Let's bring my head a little downward a little bit. Uh, maybe move it to the center or maybe to, to the left. It's just, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to, you know, um, yeah, cover part that uh, you guys may think is weird. So what I'm going to do is to, you know, add one more animation Okay, this is a like stand three, right click. I'm going to make a duplicate group and I'm going to call this stand four. Okay, basically stand three and stand four, we have a little bit of variation. So um, I think just to keep like the original position, but just to wait a little bit. So the tail will wave a little bit. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so just uh, got it here, I drooper, brush make this a little bit up okay just a little bit up okay and uh, then this part a little bit down so basically something like this okay just show that uh, is wave up and down a little bit and I'm going to use a darker here all right so um let's see the result so here okay um maybe just a uh, one pixel less um let me put it here so select this layer eye drooper get rid of this okay so if you look here Um, right, that's perfect. And I can, uh, you know, just to change the shading part uh, a little bit, a little bit. You don't need to like change uh, like a, a lot, just a, a little bit, just to add a little bit of variation. Okay, just to make it here, make some part disappear. Okay, some part disappear and make some parts appear. So I drooper, make it, you know, down a little bit, down a little bit, something like that. Okay, and uh, yeah, and you can compare this two. Okay, okay, just to add a little bit of variation. And yeah, I noticed that I got this part that did not move. I'm going to make it move. So, so if this uh, here go curve this way. 
this should go up, right? So yeah, you have to use a little bit um, in order to make it work. Okay, just to make it like a tiny little bit change. Okay, and in fact, I'm going to get rid of because I'm going to compare stand two and stand three. So uh, if you curve up, this should like uh, erase some part. So what I'm going to do is to just erase that by using the eye drooper tool and brush and get rid of just the one. Okay, and then compare the one and two. So yeah, and uh, this can we can we can get like a more drastic by eye drooper and get rid of this one and using the dark color to add a little bit here okay so it'll be something like this okay that looks pretty good so basically i got like a full variation of the idol stand here um so one two three four okay so one, two going up, three, four, four vir variation, and then I can reuse this one, two back. So we got total, uh, let me just uh, show you. We got one, two going up, then one, two for variation, and reuse this one, two go here. So basically I got six, right? And that's exactly what I want. So let me just show you this, right? Um, this time I can hide everything. Go stand here. Yeah. By the way, um, it's um, like recommended to hide uh, the background or um, just remove the background. Okay. And uh, I I forgot to do that. Uh, I should like adding one background color at the like very end separate layer and like remove. Uh, I should remove all that. So yeah. So basically. I'm going to like, remove everything here. So uh, I can just use this selection, um, like select the subject tool. Okay, I'm going to select this and um, okay. can I use the subject? I don't know whether this will work at the pixel art or not. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. So how to do this? Um, let me think of a way. Yeah, uh, I think I, I I got it because I choose this layer and I select the subject, and all these layers uh, like I separated so will not do. So what I'm going to do is to merge layer, okay. And in fact, I'm going to merge the group all together because um, I'm going to make animation later. So I think, hey, why not? So things just got like a one um, inside, so it doesn't really matter that much. So select this one, a merge. I think it's just got one inside. Don't really matter that much. So I want to uh, make it as simple as possible. Okay, so just four, one, two, three, four. All right, perfect. So I'm going to select this one, and uh, I'm going to do this uh, command D to deselect, and select subject again so hopefully this time will give me a much more like accurate selection uh, obviously it does not give me a accurate selection so maybe it's better to you know um maybe it's better just to use eraser because there's not much uh you know parts that i need to do okay so i'm going to just roughly select the area okay so, and I'm going to mask generative. Yeah, I can do. So I'm going to do a little bit hack, right click, select and inverse. And I'm going to just uh, delete it, okay? And this layer will be the background, layer zero. I drooper, okay? Go to this layer, uh, G for bucket, just uh, you know, feel everything, and then um, 
yeah, this is just just the, you know the boring fine tuning part because it's a pixel art, right? It's a pixel art. This is not like a photo that you can use a feather and all that. So you have to be precise. You have to be precise. So uh, eraser tool is really big. I'm going to make it small. And uh, uh, here, remember, it's a pixel art. You can't just use a brush. You get to use pencil. Get like a smallest part, and then you can. You know, erase everything, and I just select the wrong layer. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, this uh, layer is is weird. Yeah, so I'm going to use the, like a gradient fill and uh, use a brush, an eye drooper, and brush, and make it bigger, and just to uh, you know get the yeah, it's a little bit hacky, but uh, uh, yeah. It worked, and I'm going to hide it so I can get the background and uh, use the eraser. But uh, it's a pencil eraser. Select this one, and uh, yeah, this is uh, I'm paying the price of not um, planning ahead. Uh, but hey, I, I want to show the like really honest process of how, how I make my asset. So yeah, I learned that the hard way. Okay, I learned that how hard way. So yeah, get rid of this. Yeah, but uh, things, you know, artificial intelligence is like it taking over the world and uh, taking everyone's job. So yeah, um, I worry about this for like a pretty long time and worry you like really sick about this because I think hey this is my career but later I find out you know you know what it's just a uh, you know I will continue to do whatever I like because this um it makes me happy okay like uh, doing art and making games writing code um like solving problems because you know a, a, a huge part of uh, being a, a indie developer as well as the like a digital artist I don't know whether I can call me uh, that is you know I do this for fun not just just a purely for money if I, I, well, I do this purely for money I can like a, get a job okay and I can I can get like a really decent pay but um, they wouldn't um, be a lot of fun if I do that so yeah, have to uh, yeah, go the hard way. Things, you know, you only live your life like once, uh, unless you know life is like a simulation, and you you live multiple times. But since hey, I I don't know. So I just presume that you only live once, and uh, you have to make the best out of this life. Okay. So that's the reason why I choose fun rather than, you know, doing something so called, you know, meaningful or something like that. So, yeah, I born um, and raised in a very typical Asia family. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, by the way, uh, you don't need to go too precise because you know what? You are going to change um, some parts of her dress because we just animate the uh, hair part but not the whole body uh, and uh, I prefer to make it um, you know stand there more natural and of course there is a better way of doing this ah, I do the previous intentionally because I Oh my guys, to see that how painful it is to just use uh, like uh, auto selection because in a pixel sort of environment, it's like uh, in the quantum world. Okay, everything is very very strange, so you can't sometimes do things like normally do, more normally would work. So, but there is uh, like another way of doing things. So, basically, I want to change the uh, like a whole background. Um, so I think of like a paint bucket tool. A paint bucket tool, of course, can change the color. Like, um, so for example, let, let me just use a different color. 
so for example, like whitish or bluish color, something like that. I can click and I can, I can you know, change it. But that not, does not necessarily mean that I can carve it out. So basically, I want to erase this part. So here comes to the magic wand tool. Because I want to select the part and then I want to delete it. Okay? But if you uh, you know do something like this, uh it's this it works pretty pretty weird. Okay? So basically you are like uh, leaving something um, behind, okay? Essentially you carve something, but uh, there are something that you are not supposed to carve. So there is a uh, fine tuning that you need to do. So if you use the default setting, you click and you delete, you get something like this. Oh my gosh, that's awful, right? So what I'm going to do is to change tolerance level as well as change the settings such as anti alias So I'm going to change the tolerance to uh, maybe just one, okay? And click, yeah, it's better. It's a very to low tolerance level and it sort of include more things. And I'm going to decrease, uh, not decrease, just switch off anti-aliasing. Click and click. Whoa, that's perfect. Right? Everything is selected. So then I can just uh, delete. Okay? That's saved me a lot of work. So I can compare this to, so one and two. Okay? Obviously, obviously, it's not perfect because um, you got some part here that I need to erase that manually. Doesn't really matter because you already saved me a tons of time. So E for eraser, get rid of this too. And uh, of course, what's inside, um, maybe I can use magic wand again. So W, click, yeah, perfect. So I got the carve out. Okay, and then I can compare this two. So one and two. Okay, it looks pretty good. And um, yeah, by the way, I think I need to add a little bit of shadow area here uh, just to make it more interesting and varied. And uh, smoothing model normal, yeah, pencil. Why I can't paint on it? That's so weird. Why I can't paint on it? So let's just get rid of this. For now, truth is, I'm supposed to, you know, draw. Yeah, maybe it's a different color. Our drooper. Yeah, why is that? Why is that? Normal. Um, should be pencil opacity. Okay, uh, there gotta be some of the settings that I. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's just carve things out first, and then uh, do the fine tuning because uh, we're going to draw this again and again and again because uh, the hand should move a little bit. Okay, so yeah, let's go here. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, 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 because you know, I know. Because it got like a layer above, so sort of covered. It. Um, yeah, maybe that's the reason. Okay, come on, don't fail me this time. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the bug. I'm not sure. Uh, doesn't really matter that much. Uh, go back here. Um, w, when, get, and uh, delete. Delete. Okay. Erase. Erase this part, deselect, and then erased, and went, click, delete, deselect, brush. Um, yeah, I can paint. Yeah, maybe this time it will work because they can actually paint on it. Yeah, it will work. It's pretty good. So, one, two, three. Perfect. And then the last one 
want click delete click delete this time I'm gonna click and delete okay so command D deselect I got one two three four here and it's already finished with the uh, the hair part so I can use the thin method to get the whole body uh, moving